Hello everyone, so I would have liked to make a longer or at least more produced video for this, but I ran out of time. It's pretty late as it is, but I wanted to share some quick and easy Christmas cards um, that I put together, and I have I think about 16 of them, so I've made them already, and I was just gonna do, just show them, and give some tips and ideas and things. So I used a 12 by 12 paper pack for most of these as the base. This is White Christmas by Cartabella. I picked this up on Amazon and it comes with a full 12 by 12 sticker sheet as well, which you can see that I have used some of these and I've cut apart and there's still quite a bit left. So I'm gonna pull these piles over and just try to go through them quickly. And I have a couple pictures that'll pop on at the end. So this first one here, and there's no particular order here. I've used my own pre-made card bases. This was some cardstock I picked up at the thrift store that are already pre-folded. It has, it's navy with just a subtle white fleck, which is kind of snow-like, so it worked pretty well here. And it just went pretty well with the colors of the 12 by 12 pack. So these papers here, the pattern papers, are from the Cartabella kit, and the stick is also and I added some scraps of white and then this navy is from my stash this sticker is also from the set so quick easy pop them down got a card here's another one now this one I added um, I got out all my Christmas stuff right and holiday supplies and so this one has same card base but it has the Cartabella pattern paper in the back and then I have this die from an old tonic craft studio kit um, it makes this ornament and then this bow here and the word Noel were from a Spellbinders Christmas um, kit so I'll try to look those up and reference them if I can um, but any old large ornament this is the feature here nice and fancy with a little bit of sparkle and actually you could just do a circle um, die cut for the ornament and use pattern paper in the middle to make it fancier and then you know then the and then the glitter for the string if you want or even real string lots of ways to customize this but it kind of fits with the pattern paper there's the showcase of this beautiful pattern paper and then you have your large visual uh, element here which is the ornament so any old ornament you could even fussy cut if you had a large pattern ornament um, or if you had a sticker you know so basically yeah now let's go should we stick with the blue ones I'm gonna dig through found another blue one here this oh I love this I don't know I like polka dots I love this this was Cartabella this um, pack of papers also came with two different uh, sheets that have these cut aparts 12 by 12 sheets so the back side of one of them was this pattern and then you have the oops I'm out of frame excuse me there and then um, I don't know that I have any other of the, the scraps of the other one where the back side was a, a blue oh it was this pattern here on the back so this is the focal point and then I have some fun foam sticky adhesive back fun foam so I've just used and this actually might just be um, foam tape but I have popped it up just to give it a little dimension and then this part here was a scrap of white that I just kind of cut a slope of snow out I liked how that looked and my sentiment here came from a previous spellbinders kit that one I'm not even sure but it had um, words but you could just leave that blank or you could put a stamp there any old sentiment there I'm just using what I have and going through my stash so this is a great scrap busting way to use stuff also do I have any more navy cards I don't see any more navy Whoop! Oh, I do see one actually excuse me this is that same blue background and it is the snowman pattern paper so cute and then I used a couple scraps this is the back side of one of the other cut apart pages and then the stickers were from some sticker sheet I had and then we have the snowflakes that all came from the sticker sheet of the Cartabella pad let's move on to some red cards I also have pre-made red and green card stock that's um, already in that pre-scored that's what I'm trying to say so this present paper was from the Cartabella set and then I have a scrap of white and another scrap from the Cartabella this tree here is from a Spellbinders kit um, 
uh, they used to have the card kit of the month that came with a die. And so this whole tree and all the ornaments and stuff was a die from, or different dies from that set. Um, but I do have a few different Christmas tree dies. I picked this one for the size. And so basically that's the focal point. Um, and even, you can even just cut a triangle out of a scrap of paper for a tree as your focal point if you didn't have a die. The Joy die came from a different die set, a Christmas die set that I have in my stash. And then these two presents I just added as accents and they came from the Cartabella sticker sheet. Here we have another red one. This one actually, actually, that's so funny that I grabbed this right after this. To the astute eye, you may notice right away that this is the same background paper. So this was the scrap from this uh, tree that I cut out and I just had it laying there in the pile and then I thought, you know what, why don't I, I had this um, pattern paper that I wanted to use. So I think I used almost all the different pattern papers as uh, these panels and I, you know, it's, it's a pronounced uh, pattern and so I was trying to find something you know, to use that I hadn't already used because I love doing individual. And that's how come I use this. And I don't know why I did all those pop dots, but uh, I was using what I had, that's why. But yeah, I would have just done, it took a while to get the backers off. But so I popped it up and then I have a sticker from the sticker sheet of the Cartabella. These I've had in my stash forever. I think they're like Jolene's or something. They're dimensional. You could just cut a scrap of paper out and do this yourself very easily, you know, with a little foam and ribbon. Um, and these are kind of wonky cut, but I think squares would be fine too. I had actually a little trouble deciding the order to put them in. Um, but yeah, I had these, and so I'm trying to use my stash. This sticker from the Cartabella sheet also. And then in the um, negative, or the the positive space here, whatever, I don't know what I'm saying. But in the middle here, I cut out this tree again in this um, dot pattern paper from my scrap stash. Um, and I put it on top of some fun foam. You can't see that. So I cut it out of the fun foam also, so it's a little bit less dimension than the pop dots, um, but it could go either way. But I just like having that little extra interest there. Let's find another red one. Here's a nice simple one. This one was more complicated, but this was the probably the last one I made, and I just wanted to use up everything. You know, I didn't want to waste anything. So this one's just the beautiful, that same, oh, look at that, that same pattern paper here is the panel background here and then one of the cut aparts popped up on some fun foam and then this sticker came from the sticker sheet and I just popped it up with pop dots there. So pretty simple, super fast, and it's really cute and handmade. How about, another? this was another one that was, I don't know, this might have been toward the end, but it's using um, things from my stash as well. So there's this lovely subtle background paper and then I used a strip of this red one here to kind of give a horizon and, a, and a, an anchor point for the sticker that's a tree. This came from the sticker sheet and then these dimensional gift stickers have been in my stash. I don't even know um, what they are but yeah you could also just use you know um, squares of, of pattern paper and pop them up on foam tape to have these so I put them down there and I didn't even add a sentiment because the background paper is full of sentiment and so I thought it it was enough. Now our final red background paper. This one I thought I loved this cut apart. I thought it was just stunning. It has kind of a art deco almost 20s-ish to 30s-ish feel with the um typeface and then it goes so well with the pattern this uh blue plaid so then i had a scrap of white behind but i didn't i wanted just a scant border so that was probably the hardest part about this card was actually getting this even with enough white but not so much i just wanted it to separate it from this background a bit because it's blue on the blue um, but I didn't like it with a thicker one. It's personal choice. And then I slipped this ribbon behind. This was for my stash. And it's up on all kinds of scrap. You can see the, the different sizes. That's just because it's scrap foam tape. Um, or not foam tape, fun foam. Uh, so I'm using all my scrap pieces for it. Um, and it's really simple and beautiful. And the sentiment is right there on the cut apart. 
So let's go into the green ones now, because I had those green ones. I also have some white backgrounds too. This one, I love this paper with the, the car and the tree, but it's a lot, sometimes it's challenging because, you know, I don't want to cover too much of it up, and then, yeah, so this one was a little bit of a difficult challenge. I liked using this pattern paper here, this wide, with this, the narrow stripe. Um, because it really, it really has an, it goes well with the busier pattern papers and it anchors really well for this horizon here. So then I have two die cut circles. This, um, I'm trying to remember where this one, it was from the, I think it's from one of these, let's see. Yeah, I think it's from one of these cut aparts, right? It's, but I just wanted, I didn't want the rectangle for this card, so I, fit my circle die just around it and cut it out that way and it worked out pretty well. I managed to get it pretty centered there. And then there isn't really black in this pattern paper, but as you can see on the car that, well, maybe the tires are black, but I kind of wanted to balance that a bit and that's why I added this black behind and then the black die cut circle. Let's see here. We have a few more with the green background here. This one's lovely. A nice snowflake pattern and then the cut apart. So this was, oh, oh man, I gotta make sure I'm not getting out of frame here. It's great pattern, a pattern, a pack of pattern paper to make quick and easy cards because it has these cut aparts which make a great focal point right there. This snowflake was already cut out and it was in my stash. I, had, I have a die for it obviously, but you know, you could use a punch or a fussy cut of snowflake or a sticker. There wasn't a large white snowflake in the sticker pack that, or the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. So this one I use, but yep, it's pretty simple and it has the sentiment already on there. So it comes together pretty fast. Then we have, this one is the, also the green background, but this time I've paired it with the navies. And so we have this beautiful, I loved this pattern paper with the houses on it. Um, but again, that was a challenging one to use because what do you cover up? And so I think enough of it is showing here. And then you can see the large sticker just barely fits. Oh my goodness, stop going out of frame. I'm so sorry. Anyway, this uh, fits perfectly on the A2 size card. I use the circle here to have a nice focal place for the snowman. He's from the sticker sheet also. And then this is that lovely um, dot pattern that's on the back side of the other cut aparts. And then I have navy from my stash as a backer there. And one final green one. This one's one of my favorites and it's one of the simplest to put together. So there was this lovely plaid pattern paper. It is, the back side is some Santa stuff um, and it's just really pretty but very plain. So anyway, I had, this was actually in, I have a little drawer of scrap fabrics and ribbons, so I don't know where it came off of, maybe a gift or something, but I'm, I'm that kind of person that, ooh, it's a pretty ribbon, I save it. So it's in my little drawer of scraps, and so when I saw this pattern paper, I just thought of a gift, and then I thought, why not make the whole card, uh, like, look like a gift, and it really turned out well. So on the back of this pattern paper, I used a ruler because I wanted it even to find the center. Um, this is the center. And then some double stick tape to hold my ribbon down and straight. Um, and then I tied the bow and then I glued this on here. And then this sticker is actually from that same Jolene's pack. It came with these gifts and so I've had it and but it could easily be made with just you know a pattern paper and then red and you stamp Merry Christmas but this one was already done so that's boom popped it on and this card was done and I think it might be one of my favorites. It's hard to pick favorites. So finally I have three more with a white background. We have these I just have cardstock and I scored it myself to make the card um, base. Again one of the cut aparts and then this lovely kind of subtle background paper and I just rounded two of the corners because I like that look. A little something extra. And these were from a Spellbinders kit that was left over. So that's the scent. I just added that. You you could add 
for if you wanted to balance this corner just a couple sparkly or a few like three sparkly dots you know some subtle because this does have a sentiment already so that's another idea or maybe you have um star brads paper fasteners or you know i don't know about a snowflake there but you know so something subtle i think could totally replace that but i had this in my stash so i used that and then here we have that same, I did use this one twice. There's the house. See, I told you I love that background paper. The houses. And then this was a sticker. And this is that back of the cut up, the other cut apart, the pattern paper. So again, I've rounded two corners. And I think that goes well with the sticker too, because it has rounded edges, but I did not want to fussy cut around to mimic this. And so it has a point here and there's a point there and a round edge here and there's a round edge there so it, it goes really nicely together there's the balance you always want to be looking for if there's only one of something it's a little out of balance unless that's your absolute focal point but i don't want people focusing on the edges of you know my focal point and so that's where that balance plays in and again this is and repeated elements are pleasing and add to that balance so we have this pattern paper here and then this pattern paper is repeated here as this backer for that. Um, so the colors match perfectly. And believe it or not, this sticker here, I wanted, I felt like I needed something down here, but I have the sentiment here already. Um, and I found this sticker in one of the old Spellbinder kits in like, I don't have much left of it, but there was this one, December 25th, and it just goes so nicely with that aqua color. So that was a fortunate something I had in my stash. Um, but again, you could use other like a snow, some snowflakes or anything else to balance that. Stop falling. Last but not least is another sort of unique one. Um, this one was challenging to figure out. I saw this cut apart and I don't, and because it's got the lamppost and the banner there, I just really wanted to hang it as a banner. And I thought I had some kind of die for that, but I don't. <laughs> um, so then I was trying to, how do I make a pole? And so I ended up just cutting a strip of black and I cut a couple, you know, to get a thickness I was happy with. And then this is just a circle punch, a small circle punch for the knob there. And I've put it up on some very thin foam tape to give it that dimension. And then this cut apart is up on fun foam, which again is slightly less dimension. So it kind of sits under it like it's hanging. And this was that snowflake pattern paper. So I just love how this one turned out in red and green are complementary colors, so really pops. Love the vintage vibe on this cut apart. And so this one's quick and easy and it turned out really well. So I hope you don't mind this style video where I'm kind of just giving you ideas and showing the cards I made. It's sort of last minute. Maybe it's uh, just entertainment for you or maybe it gives you an idea of something you can do quick and easy to just give out those last minute cards. Cause man, I am running out of time this year for sure. And I'm sure many of you can relate to that. I, as always, I would like to thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. It's always fun to engage and I hope you have a wonderful and creative day and happy holidays, a blessed season.